Restrict Act S six hundred eight. Alexa, can you please tell me about the Restrict Bill six eight six, probably disguised as the TikTok Bill? The Restrict Act S six hundred eighty six would allow the government to access all of the data on your video devices if it is a service that uses over 1 million people. This includes services like ring doorbell slash in-home security cameras and so much more. Why would the government need to see what's going on in our homes? This is a serious thing, you guys. This bill that's being passed is not about TikTok. It's not even about taking away our freedom of speech or, oh, now I'm not gonna make money on a platform anymore. No, it's so much more than that. It's like the Patriot Act. They use 9-11 to make us fearful, and then they pass something under the guise of for our health and safety, as they always do. And this is the most dangerous bill yet. And you're going to need to share this because this is huge. And if we don't stand up, this is not about freedom of speech anymore. This is about losing our sense of privacy, which none of us really have anymore anyway. It goes beyond that because it's giving them the potential. Without due cause, they can make up a reason why they think you might be a threat. And boom, you go to jail based off of your doorbell ringer. You got a smart home? You better get rid of that because you know what smart means. And it doesn't mean intelligent. Restrict Act. Senate Bill 686 proposes jail time for using a VPN to access certain websites or apps operated by foreign adversaries. Is there anything else I can assist you with? You use your own VPN number and then you're really going to jail because you would be considered a terrorist mm. using your own VPN number. So they're not even gonna let you be secure in that way. What else is in the Bill 686? Senate Bill 686, also known as the Freedom and Openness in the United States Act, has been met with controversy due to its potential impact on free speech and online censorship. The bill grants significant power to the federal government to control information and communications, making it similar in scope to the Patriot Act. By granting immunity from public oversight, the bill raises concerns about the potential for abuse and lack of accountability. Opponents of the bill have expressed worries about its effects on digital freedom and the ability of citizens to access accurate and unbiased information. Would Bill 686 take away our freedom to speak? No, Bill S. 686, a proposed legislation, does not take away people's freedom to speak. The bill aims to combat terrorism by creating a national strategy for preventing terrorist radicalization and recruitment within the United States. It does not limit citizens' rights or infringe on their freedom of speech. Terrorism. You don't mean foreign terrorists, you mean terrorists country who go against what the government say, come together on platforms like this, and then you can label it as terrorism, so you can send us to jail, that kind of terrorism? Hmm. The Restrict Act would allow the government to access all of the data on your video devices if it is a service that uses over one million people. This includes services like ring doorbell slash in-home security cameras and so much more. Hashtag kill bill 686. We're not doing this again, you guys. We're not doing the Patriot Act 2.0. Didn't we learn anything from 9-11 and them using our fear to pass through bill that are in 6 We're not doing this again, you guys. We're not doing the Patriot Act 2.0. Didn't we learn anything from 9-11 and them using our fear to pass through bill that are informed consent? Don't even get me started on that one. They're trying to use China, the Communist Party. Oh, we're going to protect them from their safety and their security by implementing the same thing the Communist Party does, which is take away the freedom of speech and monitor your shit and then invade your privacy through your doorbells and all that shit has to do with TikTok. We got to stop this. Kill Bill 686. All right. I want to start off by saying Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Brakata Yahawa, Brakata Yahawa Shai, Call Halal La Yahawa, Bahashim Yahawa Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash. Double honors to my apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. Back at it again. Shalom. All right, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the water, the water, the water. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for allowing me to be able to do another lesson and hopefully edify. All right, and uh, today is the same as yesterday. Just click the button. <clears throat> Got a few videos I like to share that I came across. Uh, I want to title this lesson, you know, something to do with uh, the famine of the word, you know, the famine of teaching his Bible. And um, Esau not only have a problem with the Lord's, the Lord's hopeful elect and the prophets, the true prophets of the Lord, but he has a problem with all his truth coming out, you know, 
through social medias and through different, uh, you know, various people that are covering the news, you know? They're losing the info wars and they want to control the narrative. So, you know, like I said yesterday as well, uh, I think it was UK or Europe, uh, I think putting in a bill to ban anybody who's reporting news, you know? So bear with me one second. All right. So, you know, uh, like I said just a few minutes ago, uh, UK mentioning uh, that they, I think, I think it's a bill in play. I don't think it's by law yet, but they want to ban anybody who's reporting news from different websites because, you know, during the CEO thing, right? 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. Well, let me say the heart of it, the strong, you see the strength of uh, Europe, the regular citizens, you know, band together to fight against, you know, the uh, CEO. And I remember at that time, I was watching a lot of the news from over there and the different sources of news and they was having a lot of forums they was having you know meetings and they were strong you know and they were fighting back against the government so i could see why in uk they want to pull that because this you know as you should know is the wicked you know ruling the world and um he has an agenda all right but uh a ban on the bible man a ban on on truth and they're attacking tiktok you know tiktok is also a place that have, you know, made his mark when it comes to, you know, news, politics, or, you know, just truth in general, things that are happening around the world where people most likely won't see. You know, a lot of these jokers that's on TikTok come across these videos by just watching folly. And a lot of uh, content creators, men, women, have actually found their, their uh, you know, their they you know found their way on tiktok by reporting certain news and things like that you know making short clips and I, hey guess what the men of the lord uses these videos as well all right so you heard it man all right uh if this tiktok bill goes through you know that's basically it all right they want to uh regulate not only this but websites so let me take you here real quick to a, a post that uh info wars put up and this is lawmaker warns TikTok ban gives president power to ban websites, not just apps. All right. So when they, you know, they're not just going to ban just TikTok. All right. They're going to be able to ban websites. And that's what I think the UK report was about. Banning websites because there was a lot of guys, you know, becoming news reporters. <laughs> you know, they was becoming news reporters covering the news and keeping people informed when the mind control want to keep you you know sleep they want you to listen to what they got to say but it's too much information out here all right this just proves the scriptures that the wicked shall be revealed in his time which is the son of perdition all right uh let's do this i'm gonna let the uh ai or whatever computer speak all right rep thomas massey archai has raised the alarm that the new bill ostensibly designed to ban the chinese owned social media app tiktok also gives the president the power to ban entire websites the so-called tiktok ban is a trojan horse said massey tuesday the president will be given the power to ban websites not just apps the person breaking the new law is deemed to be the U.S. or offshore internet hosting service or app store, not the foreign adversary. Now, somebody put in, I guess this is from X, which was, you know, before formerly Twitter, right? The so-called TikTok ban is a Trojan horse. The president will be given the power to ban websites, not just apps. The person breaking the new law is deemed to be the US or, or offshore internet hosting service or app stores, not the foreign adversary. 
right? Moving on. This is uh, him again. It says, if you think this isn't a Trojan horse and will only apply to TikTok and foreign adversary social media companies, then contemplate why some thought it was important to get very specific ex exclus exclusion for their internet based business written into the build all right into the build right all right it says uh elon musk when he tweeted this law is not just about tiktok it is all about censorship and government control so guess who you know your fan favorite elon musk you know you know owner of the uh nero link brain chip he's even telling you that this tiktok bill is the censor right and for government control right and he's your fan favorite it says if it were just about tiktok it would only uh cite foreign control as the issue but it does not all right all right you can see that you can pause the video if you want right so it says earlier this week, former President Donald Trump also came out against the ban on a TikTok by saying the move would empower Facebook, whom he considers an enemy of the people. All right. And Facebook was once owned by Zuckerberg, which he sold it to the feds, to the government. All right. So that's the mind control having power. They want these social media sites to work for them, not for you. You know, see what happens is they put this stuff out here and here it is. The Lord is in full control. And that brings me to a quick scripture, which I would like to grab. All right. Since the Lord is in control. Right. Because the Internet was made for what? Well, that's another scripture. The Internet was made for the really the Internet was created for the Lord's to do the work for the Lord's prophets to send forth the message. All right. So let me get the first scripture that I was thinking about. And maybe if I remember, I can grab the next scripture that I was also thinking about. All right. Um, so lock it. Okay. All right. This is uh, Daniel's chapter four. And uh, verse 17, this matter is by the decree of the watches and the demand by the holy one excuse me and the demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men and giveth it to whomsoever he will he setteth up over it the bases of men so who rules in the kingdom of men yahweh all right which is the father's true the holy father's true holy name all right, in the Hebrew tongue, Yahweh. It says, This matter is by the decree of the watchers and in demand by the word of the holy ones to the intent that the living, we are the living, right? We're alive. That the living may know that the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men. And he giveth it to whomsoever he will, he setteth up over it the bases of men. And that leads me to this precept. Let's grab it. So like yeah. This is Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, right? Chapter 18, verse 1. It says, Ecclesiasticus 18 and 1. He that liveth forever hath created all things in general. The Lord only is righteous, and there is none other but he who governs the world with the palm of his hand. And all things obey his will, for he is the king of all, by his power dividing holy things among them from profane. To whom have he given power to declare his works? And who shall find out his noble acts? That's the point. My point is in uh, verse 1, 2, and 3, and 4. It says, he that liveth forever, he created all things in general. All right? Which is Yahweh. All right? Bahashim Yahweh Shai. It says the Lord always or the Lord only is righteous because the most high is not wicked. Okay. He's a righteous power. He's a merciful power. 
right? So he's righteous when he sends forth wickedness or he sends forth the judgment upon you. Because the Lord has the power to control the left side and the right side. All right? You got angels on his right. You got angels on his left. All right? Even the evil angels work for the Most High. All spirits are subject to the Heavenly Father. All right? Even Satan, who the world uh, today look at as a, a angel that, you know, because they got the scriptures all wrong, saying that he fell from heaven and he got other angels with him and he's going to fight against the Most High. No. All right? The tempter works for the Most High. The Most High created him for a reason. And he's a prince on the left-hand side. So it says, the Lord is only righteous, and there is none other but he who governeth the world with the palm of his hand, and all things obey his will. So even Edom obeys the will of the Father, whether he likes it or not. Okay, we in Bible prophecy. This devil is going to fulfill Bible prophecy because he is that sacrifice that the Lord is going to use. All right, here. Uh, in, in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America There's a great sacrifice the Lord is going to do Alright, he's going to show forth his power And destroying the wicked And uplifting his name by saving the elect Alright, by saving his chosen He's going to be uplifted and glorified in the world Okay, but this sacrifice is going to be upon you Edomites Because you're the wicked It says, who governeth the world in the palm of his hand And all things obey his will for he is the king of all, by his power, dividing holy things from them, dividing holy things among them from profane. So the Lord is separating the holy from the profane. Profane means outside the temple. All right. Holy is Jacob. Profane is Edom. All right. And starts with the elect of Jacob. And the Lord is dividing. This is why when the Lord called you into this truth, he chose you. He said, I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hate of you. So being called is one thing, but being chosen is even better. Scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. So hopefully if you were called, you were chosen. Scriptures say give diligence to make your calling and election sure. So now with this understanding, you know that if you was called and then you check your family members out and you wondering why they can't get it and why they talking shit about you, you know, because the Lord didn't call them. He called you, right? Because he's dividing the holy from the profane. Holy means to be set apart. So he's separating. That proves the scripture where Yahweh Shai said he will bring a sword. A sword is the instrument that cuts and it put things into two. So the Lord is dividing from what? The profane, the holy from the profane. All right. It says, for he is the king of all by his power, dividing holy things among them from profane to whom have he given power to declare his works and who have find out who shall find out his noble acts all right the men of the lord the elect all right so i said i wanted to grab another scripture real quick so let me do this this is the book of psalms chapter 19 and i'm gonna start at verse one and we're gonna get back to the video all right so just bear with me. Hopefully, uh, you you know, you're getting edified. All right. Which the word edify means to build. So hopefully it's building upon your faith. Right. This is Psalms chapter 19, verse one. It says the works and the word of the most high. It says a Psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of the most high and the firmament show of his handiwork. Day unto day utter a speech. And night unto night show of knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voices is not heard. Their line is going out through all the earth and their words to the end of the world. In them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, which is, which is as a bridegroom coming out of his chamber and rejoices as a strong man to run a race. So what's that? That's your internet. Okay? This is David. King David. Prophesizing. Because he knew. Let's say, if he didn't know, the Lord had him prophesize. Right? Because the prophet's word, which is the word of the Lord, the Heavenly Father, through his son, which Yahweh Shai is the word, the word made flesh. Right? 
his gospel is going out throughout all the earth. Even Yahweh Shai also mentioned, he said, when this word, when this gospel go across the face of the earth, then shall the end come. How did this gospel get across the face of the earth? How is it that there's a great awakening of Israelites? How is it that the Lord's people was coming back to who they truly is? All right. Whether they were chosen or not. You got a lot of men and women across the world in different countries. They now know that they Israelites. All right. You have a body of believers, which is a part of the elect. They know they Israelites. This word went out heavy lifting. The heavy lifting of this word went out first off through the word of the Lord. Right. Through his prophets, which are the spirits of his mouth. Right. Or yeah, the spirit of his mouth, because the prophets are the mouthpiece of the most high. And on the internet, pushing this truth on the internet. And I must say, starting with my apostles here in Great Millstone. All right? Because the, 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 the millstone that grind is real. Let me just say that. The millstone that grind is real. All right? And it's still grinding. It haven't even stopped. The millstone is grinding. All right? So, the heavens declare the glory of the Most High. And the firmament show of his handiwork. Mm. Day unto day utter a speech and night unto night show of knowledge. That's the internet. In particular, the heavy use of the uh, YouTube. Right? YouTube. You know, there's no cutoff switch. There's no, you know, turn the internet off. If, if, if it's nighttime here, it's daytime over there. All right? In that country. So, therefore, the internet never cuts off. It's not a time where it comes on in the morning and goes off at a certain time. It's 24-7. Even you can change the language, right, and watch the caption if you don't know the language of what's being, being spoken. You got brothers that's able to speak different languages. That's a gift, all right, and have an interpreter, right? So, this means this word is reaching all of the Lord's elect that is scattered. Okay, it says there is no speech nor language, see, where their, where their voice is not heard, right? Their line is going out throughout all the earth and their words to the end of the world and them have he set a tabernacle for the sun, all right? And that's, that's basically it. I wanted to grab that precept because it came to mind. So, you know, you know, this is just an um, article I also came across besides the videos. Lawmakers warn TikTok ban gives president power to ban websites not just apps so it's more than just TikTok. you know when esau uh stroked the brush he stroked the brush he stroked the brush with a broad stroke meaning he wants to cover you know everything he can these draconian laws is coming down the, the so-called freedom of speech all right is being taken away so I could have banned TikTok. I had it banned just about. I could have gotten it done. Uh, but I said, you know what? But I'll leave it up to you. I didn't push them too hard because, you know, let them do their own research and development. And they decided not to do it. But as you know, I was at a, the point where I could have gotten it done if I wanted to. Uh, I sort of said, you guys decide. You make that decision because it's a tough decision to make. Frankly, there are a lot of people on TikTok that love it. There are a lot of young kids on TikTok who who will go crazy without it. There are a lot of uh, users. There's, you know, a lot of good, and there's a lot of bad with TikTok. But the thing I don't like is that without TikTok, you can make Facebook bigger. And I consider Facebook to be an enemy of the people, mm. along with a lot of the media. Mm. So that's what Trump had to say. He said there's some good and there's some bad. Now there is, uh, you know, uh, false news out there so you have to chew the meat and spit out the bones you have to use your spirit which is discernment you know because there is false news i don't know where he's coming from but from what i've been seeing a lot of uh things being reported that's not being reported on your fluff news and that's the good thing because you're being informed before that you were not informed you know there's a problem here there's a certain spirit here in america where everybody is asleep and the Lord did that and gave them the spirit of slumber. You know, at this very time that I speak, you have World War Three breaking out. You have all of these different countries putting themselves in position and, and even the citizens of those people knowing what's going on in their country. 
but here in America, everybody just going along with the flow as if they norm they normally would, not really understanding what time they're living in. You know, they don't know, and that's because the the king of Babylon is not warning them. All right. So anyway, um, I could have been. Okay, we saw that. Like I said, I was gonna Alexa, can you play this video again because she mentioned some things. So let's play this again. Alexa, can you please tell me about the Restrict Bill 686, cleverly disguised as the TikTok Bill? The Restrict Act, S-686, would allow the government to access all of the data on your video devices if it is a service that uses over 1 million people. This includes services like Ring Doorbell slash in-home security cameras and so much more. Why would the government need to see what's going on in our homes? This is a serious thing, you guys. This bill that's being passed is not about TikTok. It's not even about taking away our freedom of speech or, oh, now I'm not going to make money on a platform anymore. No, it's so much more than that. It's like the Patriot Act. They use 9-11 to make us fearful, and then they pass something under the guise of for our health and safety, as they always do. And this is the most dangerous bill yet. And you're going to need to share this because this is huge. And if we don't stand up, this is not about freedom of speech anymore. This is about losing our sense of privacy, which none of us really have anymore anyway. It goes beyond that because giving them the potential without due cause, they can can make up a reason why they think you might be a threat and boom you go to jail based off of your doorbell ringer you got a smart home you better get rid of that because you know what smart means and it doesn't mean intelligent restrict act senate bill 686 proposes jail time for using a vpn to access certain websites or apps operated by foreign adversaries is there anything else i can assist you with you use your own vpn number and then you're really going to jail yeah. Yeah, you, that's that's something you know because we all use everybody use a vpn you know if you know about what a vpn is you know trying to protect yourself from you know men out there that are hackers and things like that you know just protecting your your uh your vpn but using it you could become the t-word right and that's what you know because it's going against them they want you to be easily open so that they can see everything it's all about them having control. And I mean over everything, not just on the outside, but what's in the inside of you as well. Would be considered a terrorist using your own VPN number. So they're not even gonna let you be secure in that way. What else is in the Bill 686? Senate Bill 686, also known as the Freedom and Openness in the United States Act, has been met with controversy due to its potential impact on free speech and online censorship. The bill grants significant power to the federal government to control information and communications, mm. making it similar in scope to the Patriot Act. By granting immunity from public oversight, the bill raises concerns about the potential for abuse and lack of accountability. Opponents of the bill have expressed worries about its effects on digital freedom and the ability of citizens to access accurate and unbiased information. Would Bill 686 take away our freedom to speak? No, Bill S. 686, a proposed legislation, does not take away people's freedom to speak. The bill aims to combat terrorism by creating a national strategy for preventing terrorist radicalization and recruitment within the United States. It does not limit citizens' rights. You don't mean foreign terrorists, you mean terrorists in your own country who go against what the government say and come together on platforms like this and then you can label it as terrorism so you can send us to jail, that kind of terrorism? Hmm. The Restrict Act would allow the government to access all of the data on your video devices if it is a service that uses over 1 million people. This includes services like ring doorbell slash in-home security cameras and so much more. Hashtag kill bill 686. So check that out. By using this shit, they, they will have access to in your home. See that? <laughs> That's amazing, yo. Doing this again, you guys. We're not doing the Patriot Act 2.0. Didn't we learn anything from 9-11 and them using our fear to pass through Bill Outer in 46? We're not doing this again, you guys. Yeah, due to the 9-11 thing, that's when they, they, they started talking about the Big Brother. You know, they put cameras on every street corner. You know, they, they put way more cameras up. You know, and that's when they blame Islam or they, or they blame the Arabs or, you know, Ishmael. And he was the boogeyman. Now the boogeyman is you. We're not doing the Patriot Act 2.0. Didn't we learn anything from 9-11 and them using our fear to pass through Bill without our informed consent? Don't even get me. All right, enough of her. All right, I'm tired of you. Anyway, um, let me play this video.
The bipartisan bill. Yeah, I like somebody that's more serious, putting all that other stuff to it. Just report the shit, you know, now check this out. Bipartisan bill that TikTok says will essentially ban the platform in the United States has just passed unanimously out of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. This means the bill is on the fast track for a potential vote of the full House of Representatives. The bill, called the Protecting Americans from Foreign Adversary Controlled Applications Act, is sponsored by Representative Mike Gallagher, a Republican from Wisconsin, and Representative Raja Krishnamurthy, a Democrat from Illinois. Their short 12-page bill doesn't actually use the word ban in it, but what it does is specifically forces ByteDance, the Chinese-owned parent company of TikTok, within the next five months Months, if the bill passes, to divest or sell its interest in TikTok to another company the U.S. government says is not controlled by a foreign adversary. The chair of the House Energy and Commerce Committee today kept insisting this is not a ban. CCP-controlled TikTok has claimed this bill is an outright ban. It is not. We have given TikTok a clear choice. Divest from your parent company, which is beholden to the Chinese Communist Party and remain operational in the United States, or side with the Chinese Communist Party and face a ban. Apparently, these committee members have been hearing from a bunch of TikTok users about this bill, and they don't seem to be very happy about it. If you want to use your TikTok account, you have to put in your zip code so that TikTok can tell you which representative you should call. And that's just the beginning. Imagine when China wants to use it more nefariously. This morning, prior to our hearing, TikTok used its influence and power to force users to contact their representatives if they wanted to continue using TikTok. This is just a small taste of how the CCP weaponizes applications it controls to manipulate tens of millions of, of people to further their agenda. Or maybe their constituents are actually upset and don't want them to do this. Now, I actually told you this bill would pass out of committee in this video earlier this morning. Now that it's moving forward, it will be up to the House Speaker to decide if and when to put it on the House floor for a full vote. If it passes there, then it would need 60 votes in the Senate and then would need to be signed by the President to become a law. At this point, the White House says it supports this legislation, even though President Biden's campaign has a TikTok account. Mm. Check that out. Hypocrisy at its finest. Hypocrisy because they want to push their... <laughs> they got to use it. They got to use it. You know, especially for this campaign and uh, for, the, for the circus. This presidency this year. Right? So, you know, anyway, that's that's basically it. Um, the bipartisan bill... There's a famine coming on the word. You know, hey, at the end of the day, he going to get his way when it comes to taking away your so-called free speech. All right? Because he's just going to come straight at you with the sword you know he's just gonna go ahead and you know just cut the shit off anyway you know there's gonna be a, a reset you know and with that reset they want to regulate things as they gradually may put the put put things back in motion again you know but they're gonna put it in motion their way so I'm gonna read this scripture because it's important to learn the Lord make your uh, you know your your uh, Make your, uh, what's, what's the word I want to say? Your, um, your relationship stronger with your how about you, I was shy. You know, you want the Lord to increase your faith in these days because you're not going to learn about the Lord when the Lord shut up the prophets. All right. In all reality, these devils want to shut up the prophets, but they got to go through all of these hoops and loops because now not only the prophets is a problem, but you have all these other people that's a problem covering news and changing the narrative and they can't control them the way they want you know so this is the book of psalms chapter 37 matter of fact i'm gonna jump down to ezekiel this is ezekiel chapter 3 verse 24 then the spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet and spec with me and said unto me go shut thyself within thine house but thou o son of man behold they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them and thou shalt not go out among them and I will make thou tongue all right this is Ezekiel the Lord said he will make thou tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth that thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover for they are a rebellious house all right because the prophets of the Lord 
were sent to reprove the Lord's people, which are the Israelites. And you're supposed to take the warning. You're supposed to take heed. All right. Whether you're getting rebuked, you're being reproved, you're being warned. All right. You're supposed to take heed. So the Lord told Ezekiel, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth. Meaning, if you can't speak, if you don't have a tongue, you can't speak. So your tongue cleave to your roof of your mouth, right? That thou shalt be dumb and shall not be to them a reprover, for they are a rebellious house. So there's going to be a time, all right? Because this is also a future prophecy. There's a time of a famine of the Lord's word. And the Lord is going to force his prophets to shut up. He's going to shut their mouths. He's going to make their tongue cleave to the roof of their mouth. And they're not going to be a reprover anymore. You got a lot of these wicked Israelite camps going off. Guess what? The Lord's true men are not going to reprove you anymore. And that's when your ass is in trouble because you didn't take heed. Now it's judgment. The Lord's going to start bringing judgment. So take the warning. Take the mercy while you can. Matter of fact, the scriptures say, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. He's near because the prophets is able to speak. You're able to learn. You're able to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. You're able to strive for righteousness each and every day. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. As I said, uh, give diligence. That's what I meant to say. Give diligence to make that calling and election sure. You know, the time of repentance is still now, but the doors of repentance is closing. And this means you're going to be judged. So it says... It says, for they are a rebellious house. Yes, Israel is a rebellious people, right? Verse 27. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh, he that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house. Exactly. So, you know, for those that will hear, let them hear. But they that forbear, meaning they're not going to take heed, they don't consider, don't, hey, don't consider them. All right? Because judgment is coming. All right, so I'm going to close with this scripture here. This is, um, let me go here real quick. This is the book of Amos, chapter 8, verse 11. Behold, the days come, say of Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of Yahweh. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh, and shall not find it in that day showing you in that day which is prophecy right prophecy to come it says in that day shall they shall the fair virgin the fair virgins and the young men faint for thirst meaning thirst of hearing the word right now you got a lot of cheerleaders you got a lot of men and women that know who got the truth but now they push it off you know you pushing it off you uh tarrying to come to the Lord and the scriptures tell us not to tarry to make to come to the Lord right uh Sirach chapter 5 verse 1 set thy heart upon thy goods and say not I have enough for my life you ain't supposed to be prideful right follow not thy own mind and thou wait thou strength to walk in the ways of thy heart you ain't supposed to follow your own mind you know and be prideful like you that dude or you him or she or she him you know, or let me say, she thinks a woman, she thinks that she's that, that bitch, you know, or, you know, she's that, that girl, you know, calling yourself a bitch is stupid anyway, but she might think that she that girl because, you know, she look good or do think he that dude because he got, you know, some money. All right. That's pride, man. Follow not thy own mind and thou strength because you might be able to. In certain in certain avenues you might be strong in certain ways right financially you know you might uh the lord probably blessed you you know with, with looks you know whatever your parents probably hooked you up you grew into uh a certain um a certain uh uh a living situation who knows right it says follow not thy own mind and thou strength to walk in the ways of thy heart the word heart in the Hebrew is lob. It's talking about the mind, right? And say not, who shall control me for my works? For the Lord will surely revenge thy pride. And you got jokers like that, men and women. You know, they think they shit don't stink. You know, they think they're better than others. 
All right. It says, for the Lord will surely revenge thou pride. Say not, I have sinned, and what harm have happened unto me? For the Lord is long-suffering. He will in no wise let you go. And that's what, uh, what's the prophecy called? Jacob's trouble. Jake is in trouble. Whether you believe you're an Israelite or not, guess what? When the Lord fulfilled Jacob's trouble, you in trouble. All right? You don't have to believe you're an Israelite. You could believe you a Muslim and all this other shit going on out here. You ain't got to come. You ain't got to, hey, scriptures say for, if they forbear, let them forbear. Right? But just know when the Lord activate Jacob's trouble and bring that prophecy to pass, your ass is grass. All right? Because you of Jacob. The Lord is going to deal with his people. He's going to judge his people. All right? It says, for the Lord is long suffering. He will in no wise let you go. You're not going unpunished. All right? It says, concerning propitiation. Be not without fear to add sin unto sin. You ain't supposed to be willing, uh, 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 sin, sinning willfully. You're supposed to have some self-control. You're supposed to be disciplined. All right? You're supposed to hold yourself with dignity and integrity and serving your Hawa Bashim Yahushai each and every day. Every day is a day to strive in righteousness toward the Lord. All right? That's why the scriptures say, give thou body as a living sacrifice. A living sacrifice. When you woke up to this truth, you are now committed into a sacrifice. All right? It says, and say not his mercy is great. He will be pacified for the multitudes of my sins. For mercy and wrath coming from him and his indignation rests upon sinners, which indignation means righteous anger. So the Lord's righteous anger is resting upon you, meaning he's going to destroy your ass. Right? Because you got jokers in the Christian or let's say the government churches they think the, the mercy of the Lord is so great that the Lord is going to be pacified with what things they do. You know, they got this saying where, you know, Jesus, and we hate saying that here in Great Millstone, right? But who they ignorantly call Jesus, they say he died for their sins. So this means these uh, fools, right, they think. That they can do whatever they want. They can eat pork, crab, shrimp, lobster. They can celebrate their own birthdays. You know, they can do whatever they want because Jesus is pacified with their sins or he died for their sins. You know how stupid that is? Do you know how stupid that is? What what man you know is gonna die for you to do whatever you want? That don't even make sense, but that's how they that's how they rule, right? That's how they rule. It says, for mercy and wrath coming from him. Yeah, mercy and wrath coming from the Most High. He either will show mercy or he'll bring, you know, calamity upon you, woes upon you, right? And his indignation rests upon sinners. Make no turn to turn to the Lord. Now we at the point. Make no turn to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. And perish in the day of vengeance. So making Terry to turn to the most high is a no-no. You know, when you hear this word, you're supposed to walk in it. You're supposed to instantly, you know, repent. You don't sit here and say, well, you know, give me about a week. Well, let me enjoy my birthday coming up next week. You know, you got jokers like that. They'll come across the camp and they're here and they agree. They'll feel condemned in their mind because they know they off. They know, recognize the truth. They acknowledge it. But then in their mind, they'd be like, man, I'm going to come in. Just let me celebrate. You know, I got my birthday coming up. This going to be my last one. I'm going to, you know, like last one as them being wicked. And then they're going to come in. No, you might not make it to the next day you was born. You know, just because you was Terry. Hey, the Lord can do that, man. We, su we supposed to fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right. So make no turn to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. You putting them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, it says for suddenly, right, suddenly, so happened, just, just, just something just coming down upon you, right? Suddenly, the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security, meaning you in a safe place, you might be in your home. You know, my woman was telling me how she was watching some video, and some chick, she woke up, and her face started breaking out. You know. Like damn, she don't even know where it came from or what. She went, she 
so, you know, said the woman was talking about how she went to bed, everything was fine. When she woke up in the morning, she started breaking out her face, and her face all tore the fuck up. You know, not just with just acne, but her face is like scabby and all that shit. I was like, damn, that's the Lord, man. For suddenly, right? It says, for suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed. You know, when you think it's, you know, everything going to be all cool, you all comfortable, the Lord come get you and perish in a day of vengeance. Set not thy heart upon thy goods unjustly gotten, but they shall not profit thee in the day of calamity. All right. So that's the point. So that's all I got. Lord willing, I pray you were edified. Hopefully it's not a long, too long a lesson, maybe. But, you know, that's that. You know, on to the next one. Lord's willing. I'll see you again to uh, do a lesson if the Lord's willing, man. Call Halala Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So let me say all praises to the Father Yahweh in the name of His Son Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Racha Kodash. All right, in the name, right, Holy Spirit. Double honors to my apostles and elders here in Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elect scattered abroad. Shalom.